All right, Myron, we got the box here. That's good. You got it in the mail the other day. Yeah. Um, been, I'll let you go ahead and cut it open. It's been sitting in the observatory for yep. four or five days now, and it's been very tempting for me to go out there and open it, but I was able to resist. We can even know. Yeah, sit back over here and we'll pull it out. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, there's there's another box. Another box inside a box. Looks like it's well packaged. This is actually this this mount came directly from Arkansas, just as a customer would have received it. I have not seen this mount. It's never been opened. We'll just have to see what it is. But it looks like it. Yeah. Well packaged. Look at no right, free got vibration. This box. Let me go ahead and uh, yeah, that's a spacer. Put it over here. This is the. Uh, this must be the head. All right, let's find out. There we go. Oh, there she is. There, is. there she is. All right, there's the uh, battery pack. There's a battery pack. It uses C cells. I think there's eight of them in here. Eight C cells, yes. That's yep. And then this is yep. important. This is the deck cable. All right. So, all right. And mount head right here. So pull pull that box out of the way. Uh, we're going to work here. See what we got here. It's like Christmas. It's, like Christmas. it's, it's almost two, Christmas. two days, like four days before, three days before Christmas, whatever. All right, cool. Are we supposed to be opening this before Christmas? I don't yeah. think so. Now here's the, uh, that's for the tripod. Oh, it's the other. Uh, oh, no, this is the, you're right. This counterweight is the counterweight shaft. Counterweight shaft. Yep. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Another spacer. All right, there. so let's unwrap this puppy. All right, here oh, you go. nice. Look at that. Here. Yeah, I'm out of there. Cover came off the. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's good. That's really nice. Beautiful. Look at that. That is nice. So, so it's gonna go. I'll be with... providing close-ups here in a minute. Yeah. You'll see them in the video. So when it's when it's sent from the factory, obviously uh, this is how she sits in the box for shipping. And uh, on the other side here is the business end of the mount where you've got your power adapter, your uh, your power port in. Looks like your mini USB. That's mm -hmm. nice. And uh, you got your. your Standard um, saddle plate here, dual locking knobs. All right. Size for right. the mini. All right. So let's see what back in there. there. This, is, this is the counterweights. I think we get two counterweights. Two counterweights. Yes. Yep. There, there they are. are. They're, most of them are one kilogram, I think. And notice how they're not just. Um, let's separate these things apart here. I think this goes into the thought that was put into this mount in that it's not only functional in terms of it's, it's fairly sophisticated for being an entry quote unquote level mount, but the counterweights are kind of nice. Look at that. They've got a silver accent to them. It, it just adds a little bit of visual interest to the mounts. I think a very nice touch. Very nice, large, knurled knobs. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about little tiny uh, hex, hex wrenches to uh, tighten them on it. You can do this in the field. Right. With, with no tools, it looks like that's nice. So it's got this pin in there, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Now what else we got here? Is that a spacer or is that something? That's a spacer. No spacer. All right. Over there. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> so let's see what else we got. This is fun. Oh. All right. This must be the uh, tripod. Yep. Very nice tripod. Oh no, Jerry. There's no PMC8 system in here. I don't see the box. Where's the box? That's right. Where's the box? There's no silver box here. Where's the where box? It? Where's it? It's inside here. That's right. Internal. Internal. So that's where yeah. the connectors are. Under this yeah. cover is the PMC8. Look at that. Awesome. Yep. All right. Look at this. Yep. Okay. Look for... Look at that. It's got even the glow in the dark accents on the uh, yep. extenders, the tripod extender legs. Put it on the table there. Yep. I'll set it up here. Very light. I mean, it's it's very light, easy to handle, even one hand. Um, but it feels pretty solid, actually. Very nice. Of course, most people using this telescope will probably start off visually at first, using the Explore Star app. Uh, but it does yep. have the capability of astrophotography, should one wish to do so later on. All right. So let's go ahead and get this on here. All right. Um, set that right down in there. 
And it's already got the knob here. You don't have to do anything other than just kind of have to just tighten it down. That's it. So tighten it down. Is it going on there? Does it feel like it's going on? Mm -hmm. Feels oh. like it. Yep. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's it. And uh, now, typically, we would put the put the mount the opposite direction over the leg, right, or over one of yeah, the legs. Yeah, do that. Go ahead. Let's so let's it move it let's over this leg around. here. That's fine, right here. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. All right. We now go. we've got the uh, altitude adjustment here. Right here. Not sure. I don't know if I've got a. Uh, Is that loosened up or not? No, it's probably not loose. Nope. It's loose. So That's fine. Yeah, we can oh, adjust. Yep. Okay. We can adjust. Right, cool. There we go. So. As you see, turning it clockwise, I'm sorry, turning it counterclockwise elevates the polar axis. That's the uh, orientation here. Counterclockwise rotation gives us elevation. All right, we'll get that to our approximate latitude of 38 degrees, 20 arc minutes north. <laughs> Only approximate, of course. Because we're going to be using this thing tonight. Yep. Looks like we're in for a couple of clear nights afterward here, which will be yeah, which nice. Is, which is odd because yeah. when you get new stuff and yeah. all right, there it is. It doesn't work. Set it 38, 38 degrees right now. Alright, let's move this over here just okay. a little bit. Now see you can see how light this thing is. Look, look. Very nice. Look at that. Even me, I can pick it up with one hand. Yeah, even me. <laughs> look at that. Alright. Okay, so let's put the uh, plate on here. Don't go, don't go breaking your telescope before yeah, these guys are here. Yeah, so you put the counterweight on first before you put any scopes on here. And it just yeah. screws right on here. There's a little protection knob and then that... that uh, this is going to clip under? It, it actually goes this way. And it clips under, doesn't it? And, nope, see the little uh, gear? Yeah. And then you turn it. Turn it and rotate it in. And, and it snaps. rotates in. Look at that, no tools. That's excellent. That's right. All right. All right, so I just screwed the counterweight bar in, and okay. then we can stick the, put the weights on. Put the weights on here. Okay. Now you're wondering what what the heck are we going to use this with? With the scope? I mean, it's pretty useless left by itself without a scope on it. Right. It would be so. We weird. actually got some scopes from Explore Scientific shipped here. They're sitting right up. To outside show the door. which which scopes may be bundled with this mount in the future. Outside the frame of view. So we'll. Uh, we're going to um, pause this video and then go get the scopes and probably unbox those. Okay. So there you have it, the IXS100. Unboxed and put Unboxed together. Unboxed and put together. Well, we can put the power supply. What about the, uh, power, okay, the power supply? Now, I've got a, I've got a, you can, you get this battery box, but yeah. you can buy a, uh, a power supply AC adapter mm -hmm. also. Oh, One other thing we left off yeah. is this declination. Um, so let me turn this around. Yeah, I'll see if we can get show the you. business end of that here. Show you where the... Uh, so here's the control. Here's where you connect up the connectors to the PMC-8. This plugs into this connector right here, which is the declination connector. And then the DB9 connector goes into the motor right here. So the internal, the RA axis is wired internally to this. Which is a different, which is, I noticed that off the bat, is compared to the, um, the Exos 200, or the, uh, the uh, Exos, I Exos 2. Or the Exos 2, right. The, there's two cords, one for right, back, exactly, one for right. Because the box is outside. External. And this is only one cord, so this it's a little so more refined. That's right. So yeah. look, look how nice it looks. Yeah. Very good.